so we initiate so let, let's erase this off first uh, okay so we initialized the integer with the value of 3 then let's initialize this character variable with the value of a then again let's initialize this float with the value of uh, something like hundred hundred point uh, zero nine three it's an arbitrary number you can use your own one there's no problem with that so let's use something bigger okay decimal number and okay this is fine I guess let's eat put a zero in before uh, nine so we have all those uh, variables initialized now let's have a look the first thing that we need to look is that our constant on the right hand side it should actually match the data type on the left hand side uh, that is being used along with this variable name now this assignment operator is e taking this uh, variable 3 uh, I mean sorry uh, it's this assignment operator when uh, when it goes back to the compiler it actually uh, takes this integer 3 and then it first matches that constant integer number 3 with the data type now the data type is an integer we have strictly said that our data that uh, that will be stored inside that four bytes of space must be an integer now integers are always whole numbers they can't have any decimal places and they can be negative or positive so if our compiler reads the entire code and finds that we have got something like this 3.01 then it won't actually uh, complain what it will do is something that's known as truncation so what's truncation truncation or uh, truncation actually means that it will read the it will read this number and match it with the data type because we have a data type of integer it will cut off everything that appears up after the decimal point and along it will also cut off the decimal point and it will only show or display the data which is an integer now integers can be negative and positives uh, positive so if you put a negative number like this and you raise off this uh, decimal places then there won't be any problem now uh, the interesting part in the next one is that we see a different notation so this notation is essential because we are actually going to tell the compiler that we want a character uh, that will be stored inside the one byte of space one byte of space inside the ram so a character it a character will always be something like a or b or c or d or f or z or x or y or something like that so this characters i mean you you also have characters like you know uh, your brackets curly braces question marks then great uh, ampersand symbol then asterisk symbol all those symbols or hashtag or sometimes it's also known as the pound symbol these are all symbols like if I put uh, something like this or if I put something like um, maybe this so this at the rates is also this at the rate symbol is also considered to be a character inside the computer or inside the machine so now this is interesting because when you try to if you look up uh, at Google it will show you something like this or if you try to look up uh, behind the scenes what's going on then if I actually add if I initialize the variable C with the alphabet A then behind the scenes it will go to the compiler and it will convert this 
a into an integer so if you look up on Google you'll find a is equivalent to something like 98 so every symbol that you have inside the computer in any language in English in Cyrillic in any other language the symbols are always represented with an integer number so a has an equivalent number of 98 I guess B has something like 99 then C has something like 100 uh, I might be wrong but uh, all these characters have their own distinctive integers assigned to them so these integers they are all decimal values decimal values means that uh, you might get confused that uh, because I am actually discussing decimal values in here then I'm also talking about decimal when it comes to integer now what happens behind the scenes when I assign a to this variable C my computer don't actually understand what's an a remember that uh, every machine or every computer can only understand binary digit which is 0 or 1 so every letter every word is made up of uh, strings of this binary digits which are zeros and ones to make the computer understand now this integer which in mathematical term is also a decimal integers can be written so as something like this right so in our uh, daily perspective this 98 is a decimal number so this decimal number will be converted to something like this so our compiler behind the scenes after we assign a to the variable C uh, from this step we have a uh, let's actually have a look from the beginning we have assigned the alphabet a to the variable C now our compiler will take the code and then it will check that whether we have a valid character along with this data type whether this character actually matches the data type if you put up something like this a B so you can't actually do that because this is not a single character your yeah behind our compiler will actually complain because this actually becomes a string not a character so this is not applicable so whenever you want to store a one single character inside this char or car data type then you you must always put one single alphabet or one single symbol inside uh, single quotation marks so that's how our compiler actually recognizes the characters and then it matches it with the data type to ensure that the character is valid and then it passes on passes this to our machine so that our machine will understand now before our machine can understand what is that a it will have to convert which means our compiler will have to convert this alphabet A to a decimal number like this. So the decimal number is 98. 